If you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins, check out thefootshop.com. They will be in the description. And don't forget to use the promo code Tobias to save yourself as much money as possible. What's up, guys? Tobias here, and welcome back to another episode of Pack to the Future, episode number six. Now, as always, thank you ever so much for the support you're showing on this series. We smashed over 8,000 likes on episode number five. And whilst you guys are going ham on the like button, I will go ham and get this episode, uh, this series uploaded daily on to my channel. But anyway, if you did watch episode number five, you will have seen I got served the absolute sausage by team of the season Lacazette. I, don't, I literally can't even think of an excuse, so I'm not even going to try. But anyway, hopefully that isn't going to happen again, because if it does, I will... I don't know what I'll do. I'll do a giveaway or something. That's it. If I get, if I get that slapped again, I will give away 100,000 coins to one of you guys. Just to try and compensate for how shit I am. Pretty much, there you are, there you are. So if it happens again, I will do a giveaway. But anyway, no changes are happening to the squad. You can see it on your team, on your screen there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's jump straight into our first game. And fingers crossed we can get a win. Right then, we are going into our first game. Uh, one thing I did want to say in the... Um, in the intro of this video, I am ridiculously ill at the minute, so if you think I sound a little bit weird or I'm croaky or anything like that, it's because I'm ill, but nonetheless, I'm going to be making these videos, and that is his team. Another 100 chemistry, it seems every single team in Division 10 is 100 chemistry, but fingers crossed, let's just do our best and try and get a result. Oh, he done the kickoff glitch and he's failed. He failed the kickoff glitch, good. I would have cried if that had gone in. How? How the fuck is this happening? How? I don't even know. Yes, finally, we're fucking back in it. Oh my god, how he even went 1 0 up there, I don't know. But we've equalised pretty much from kickoff. Oh my god, I should be 1 0 up now, it shouldn't be 1 0. Come on, Cissé, bury that. Holy shit, you piece of crap. I've missed the one-on-one -on -one with Cissé. I, oh, I don't... I oh. Right, he's got a corner. Let's get rid of this, boys. Oh, my God. I, that looked like it had gone in. That honestly looked like it had gone in. I don't know why, but this guy is shooting as soon as he gets the ball. He's at about four shots now. Look, nine shots. They've all pretty much been from the halfway line. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck have I just done? What the fuck am I doing? How can my defender not just fucking pass that? Where is my defence? Where is it? Oh my god. Right, it's half time and I'm fucking 2 0 down because I passed it to a striker. What the fuck? And he's been shooting from literally like halfway line. Like, look at this shit. Look at those shots. What the fuck is this guy doing? Come on, Lima. There we are. 2 all. This is it. We're taking the lead now. I've had enough of fucking this bullshit losing. It's 2 all. Bang on the 55th minute mark. We're going to get the next goal. We're going to go 3-2 up. There we are! I told you we'd get the next goal. I told you. He has been slaughtered the last 15, 20 minutes. And there we are. We've gone 3-2 up. Finally, the result I'm looking for. No more. Don't do the kickoff glitch, please. Oh, he's doing it. I can see the run. Oh, he's offside. I genuinely shit my pants right then. Oh, I'm offside. Ah! That could have been it. Could have buried the game there, but it was it was miles offside. This goalkeeper, he's shooting from halfway and he's still nearly scoring. How how's my goalkeeper not catching balls from the halfway line? What? If he scores from this corner now, oh my god, there's gonna be rage. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, how did he save that? Right, come on, we've got to, 
85th minute corner. Seal the win here. Oh, I thought that had gone in. I thought that had gone in. For Tongan. Right, there we are. Full-time whistle. 3-2. How, how are these games so tough? I genuinely would have an easier time if I, was, I started in Division 10. But nonetheless, we have got the win. 3-2. I don't know why my opposition just took shots from the halfway line the whole game. But for some reason, it still troubled my goalkeeper. But anyway, from that game, we've only got the one pack. Because I gifted him the ball by the uh, defender. So yeah, fingers crossed we get a decent player in the pack. One quick thing. Last episode, I did say, what would you like me to do regarding special packs? And you'll put all your suggestions in the comments. And one that always popped up was, if you win the division title, you should be able to open a special pack if one's available. Um, and that's actually perfect timing because we've actually won the title of Division 10, which obviously isn't going to be hard. But anyway, as a result, you guys wanted it. We are going to be opening a special pack every time we win the division title. So as well as the one goal difference we're going to get on that pack, we're also going to open a special pack. So fingers crossed we can get someone decent. Right then. <coughs> right then, here we are. We're going to open the special pack first. This is because we have just reached the division. Uh, we've got the division title, pretty much. Every time we do get the division title, we do open a special pack. Who are we going to get? This is a special team of the season pack. Close. That is... Uh, actually, we've got Adebayor and Michu. So, they can... And Aruna Kone. So, that's actually a decent pack. At first, I was going to slate it. But we got Michu, Aruna Kone and Adebayor. So, hopefully, they'll be able to find the, the net better than our current strikers. So, what we are going to do... Send all that to the club. And now, we're going to open the one pack that we... That we did get from winning that game by one goal difference. So, fingers crossed. If it wants to open. Finally, there we are. Vidal, who are you giving us? Give us a high rated Premier League player. That would be our best option. <laughs> are you... Oh, right, instead of a high rated Premier League player. It's given us fucking Damien Duff. But uh, yeah, that's a shit pack. Anyway, we're going to keep it. And I'm going to see what I can do to the club. Right then, I've made the changes to the team. Aruna Kone is starting. And if he's anything like he was last year on FIFA, he is going to be a ridiculously good motherfucker. If you saw my Let's Play Ultimate Team series I did back in the day, I had Aruna Kone and he helped me go like 20 games unbeaten. So hopefully he can stop us fucking losing. But we are going to be playing our first game in Division 9 now. And I really hope Aruna Kone can get on the score sheet. Let's see if he can get a hat-trick. Right then, we're jumping into our second and final game of the episode. 100 chemistry, not surprised. I thought for a minute that was the same guy we just played, but he's got a, um... I want to say a full Spanish squad, but it's not, because he's got a Argentine centre-back, a Portuguese goalkeeper, and he's also got... Who was that? Was that Sanchez in the squad? So hopefully... We can get another result. We are now up to... We nearly have 80 chemistry. He's got 100. But let's just pray he's shit. Oh! What a goal! Cissé! I don't even know what happened there. Sorry, I wasn't commentating or anything. But look at this. He like... I think Kone missed the header. And somehow it dropped to Cissé. And he scored. What have I just done? What have I just done? Oh, I've given him the corner. I'm so bad. Why did I... I should have just got the keeper to send it up the field. I don't... I don't even know. Why did I give him that corner? There was no need. There was no need for that corner. And my, my defender... I'm even losing my voice. My defender, that was on the post. You have one job. Why is it showing every single replay? It's a fucking corner. It's a corner. Oh. Oh. No. I hit the post. Oh, no. It's going to count me. No. Sanchez. Oh, yes. How did I hit the post there? I could have gone 2-1 up. And I couldn't even get the rebound. Oh my god, it's not showing that again. 
Oh, another fucking header. Oh, that has literally come out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Who was that? Murata again. And he's going to watch every single fucking replay. I guarantee it. One ball down the wing. Cross it in. No chance. Oh, it's two. It's half time. And I'm 2-1 down from two headers that have literally come out of nowhere. So frustrating. But I guess we're 2-1 we're we're two down and we've got to work on that in the second half. There we are. He scored a header. That is a taste of your own medicine. Oh, they're such boring goals. But when you're losing, and it was actually a really nice through ball to, uh, it was actually my left back. That's my left back. That's impressive. I don't even think that was Matt Jarvis. But yeah, 2 all. I apologise for the boring goal. And he's going to try the kickoff glitch. Oh my god! What a goal! Aruna Kone! That is why, I think that was Kone, but that, what it was, that was a rocket. I saw I had a bit of space when I won the ball, so I thought, have a crack. No keeper in ultimate team stopping that. Oh my god, he scored straight up! My passing accuracy this game has been literally a bag of AIDS. A, the definition of a bag of AIDS. Oh, Cissé, <laughs> what a goal. Holy hell, this is a thriller. Seven goal thriller and there's still 20 minutes left. Really nice ball over the top to Cissé. Oh, what a goal. Come on, I need to win this game. There we are, full time. Holy hell, that was a sweaty game. That guy was good, like, I don't know. Genuinely, I play, that guy is better than... Like, 90% of people I play in Division 1. Like, Division... Oh, I don't even know how that one works. But, Cissé got a hat-trick. And that means one thing. We get an extra pack for it. That was another rule made up by you guys. So, thank you ever so much for the, all the feedback you give to the series. Because you make the series better. But anyway, we won by one goal difference. We got Cissé a hat-trick. So, that means two packs. Fingers crossed we get good players. Right then, we've got two packs. Here we go. Come on. We're going for Cahill first. One pack for the hat trick from Cissé. Another pack because we won by one goal difference. We won 4-3 that game. Who are we going to get? Buffon! Holy shit. That's an amazing pack. Oh yes, get in. And a centre-back who I think might fit in with the chemistry. But that is an amazing pack. 86 rated Buffon. Right, okay. Last pack. Got a duplicate, I'll just discard that. Last pack to end the uh, end the episode up. Who are we gonna get? Apologies for my voice, it is literally dying on me. Um, but come on, just survive one more pack and then we can wrap this video up. Who are we gonna get? Who is it? Varane, Varane or Varane, however you want to pronounce his name. That is another decent pack because he is a really good. Oh, we, we've already we've already got a duplicate. What the hell? That is another decent pack, an 81 rated centre back. Who we'll have to see if we can improve the squad any more next episode. But anyway, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please do leave a like. If we can smash 10,000 likes again, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Thank you ever so much for all the support. Apologies on my voice's behalf. It is absolutely dying. I'm going to have to wrap this up here. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit the like button. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.